So I grabbed my sketchbook and took a trip to Prague. Now I was really depressed about the death of my parents and I wanted to see the place where they were before they died. They loved Prague, but they, they died on the way home in the cab that was taking them from Kennedy Airport to their apartment in Brooklyn. And I, I was supposed to pick them up, but I got this rushed job drawing storyboards. I'm a commercial artist and work had been so slow and I couldn't afford to turn down this job. This is what I was drawing when their cab skidded off the highway. The police told me that the driver was intoxicated. So I, I really wanted to see Prague because my folks loved it and I loved my folks. On the plane over to Prague, well, I met Edith and Irving Goldstein, a lovely couple that reminded me of my parents. We hit it off right away and decided to explore Prague together. It was wonderful being with the Goldsteins. They were so nice. Then, after a couple of days, Mr. Goldstein started in like this. Know what a nice Jewish boy like you needs? A nice Jewish girl. And then he took out his wallet and showed me a photo of his daughter Irene, who was about my age and single and a successful lawyer and apparently very eligible. Well, I gave the Goldsteins a nervous smile and, and I quickly changed the subject. but they kept bringing it up. We went to the symphony together, and after Carmina Barana, Mr. Goldstein said, No, and a nice Jewish boy like you needs a nice Jewish girl. And he mentioned it the next night during the intermission at the ballet, and the day after that when we visited the old Jewish cemetery. He even brought it up when we went to the memorial at Terezin concentration camp, and there he said it with even more passion. A nice Jewish boy like you needs a nice Jewish girl. Well, on our last morning in Prague, before leaving for the airport together, they hit me with this. Well, you'll finally get to meet our Irene. She's going to pick us all up at Kennedy Airport when we land. Now I had to tell the Goldsteins the truth. Mr. and Mrs. Goldstein, I said, there's something about me. You should know, I'm gay. After an uncomfortable silence, Mrs. Goldstein gave me a motherly look and said, You mean you're, you're a homosexual? Mr. Goldstein gave me a very strange look and said, A nice Jewish boy like you needs a nice Jewish boy. And then he took out his wallet and showed me a picture of their son, Eric who was my age, and gay, and apparently he was very eligible. So they called Brooklyn and told Eric to pick us all up at the airport. So that's how I met Eric, who, as it turned out, was just what this nice Jewish boy needed. Look, that's me and Eric in, well, you guessed it, that's Prague. We decided to go there on our honeymoon. It seemed like the right thing to do.